What's going on guys, Dr. Allen here, and I will be going over today something that I've wanted to do for an extremely long period of time. I mean, people have asked me to do this for at least a year now. I'll be covering my supplement stack, my daily supplement regimen that I always take. Um, as a uh, point of reference for those that don't know, I have been formulating professionally for 12, 15 years, something like that now. Um, and I'm the head formulator at Controlled Labs. So you will see a lot of Controlled Labs products in my supplement regimen. And the part of the reason for that is I know where they're getting their sourcing from, so it's it's quality ingredients. But it's really nice when someone says, hey, make something that you wanna take, and then you get to essentially formulate what you wanna take anyway. So there's a lot of stuff in there because I got to choose what I wanna take. Um, so for the most important thing in everybody's mind, what do I take pre-workout? Well, what I take pre-workout is orange brainwash, it is a daily cognitive and mood booster. And um, I find that it's a great thing for me to take because it's not overly stimmed out. And it is the best dosed nootropic on the market by far. Um, and I know that because I got to formulate it. So I was very proud of this one. Um, you know, Controlled Labs let me go out and, and do everything that I wanted to do with this. Um, and it came out into a great product. And this is something that I enjoy taking not only in the morning when I wake up, uh, before I work out because it puts me in the right headspace. But you know, a lot of the real benefits to this are it can help increase memory. It can help with stress and, uh, and anxiety management. Um, it can help with adapting, you know, to, to the stressors that affect your mood. It can increase your mood. And I think that these things are often overlooked because all the people really want are, I want to feel cracked out and I want to have a huge pump. Well, if you're in the gym and you're lifting correctly, you're going to get a pump anyways. And, uh, and this really puts you in the right headspace to do things correctly. And it doesn't overload you with stim. So, you know, it gets the job done by having effective ingredients and not just cracking you out. All right, look, moving on to the rest of my stack. Um, I'm going to be filling up my cute little 20 year old uh, bodybuilding.com uh, pill organizer because that's what I do every day. And um, we're gonna look at some of the things that I have. Now, what I normally take is a bunch of ingredients that deal with overall health um, and longevity because there's not a ton of effective performance enhancing ingredients. You know, we, we like to talk about um, all the generic ones, like I take five grams of creatine mono a day. Do not spend money on HCL or any of that other garbage. Just get a micronized creatine mono. Um, you know, the beta alanine seems to work pretty well if you're doing sports particularly. Um, and there's a handful of others. And in fact, I have a, uh, a performance supplement blog article that you can check out. And I'll leave the, the URL to that in the uh, comment section so you can look at that. But uh, first thing that I'm gonna add in is ashwagandha. And this is Jero's formulation. And specifically with ashwagandha, what I would recommend is you look for a, an ingredient, a patented ingredient called KSM66. Um, and with that, it just assures that you're getting the right actives that you're looking for with the ashwagandha. Now, I like to take two capsules of this per day, which is 600 milligrams of the ashwagandha. And it's a good thing for also um, handling stress. It helps with sleep, it helps with um, some anxiety. And, uh, and it's a great overall thing for people who are, you know, busy with work, busy with school, all that kind of stuff. This is the type of thing that you need to be doing. So again, you're in the right mental headspace. So you're getting things done because of your mood. You know, there's nothing that kills a good workout or a fitness journey more than being so stressed out. You either overeat or you don't eat at all. And that's one of the two responses that, that every person has. All right, next, orange oxy mega fish oil from Controlled Labs. Um, you can just take that as directed since it is dosed correctly. And what I would like to warn people about is 95 to 97% of fish oils on the market are not dosed correctly. Um, what you're looking for for uh, benefits from a fish oil are two to three grams of EPA plus DHA a day. And there's a myriad of benefits um, from joint health to anti-inflammation to, uh, to potential benefits for cardiovascular health. Um, and the fact is that most of us don't get enough fatty fish on the daily. So this is a really good supplement to add in. Take it with food and store it in the freezer and it will do just fine for you. All right, next. Orange Triad Multivitamin from Controlled Labs. Uh, take as directed. And what I like to do is it's six pills per day because it's not just a multivitamin. 
Um, and I know that there's going to be some people that are going to say, well, you know, the data on multivitamins is really kind of hazy. Does it benefit people? Does it not? Um, that's a good question. What we find when we look at the research is that people that think that they're eating a varied diet, you know, even professional athletes that have their own uh, nutritionists and everything, they're still not getting everything that they need in, uh, in vitamins and minerals, particularly in minerals. Um, <clears throat> and so having a little bit of extra support is never a bad thing. Now, what I really like about Orange Triad is it also gives you a full dose of joint support with the proper form of glucosamine, which is glucosamine sulfate. If you're using glucosamine hydrochloride, it's a piece of garbage. If you have any product that has glucosamine hydrochloride in it, throw it away, get Orange Triad. It will do a lot better for your joints. And you get that benefit of the multi on the side, as well as some joint, uh, or sorry, as well as some digestion protection and some immune boosting potential. I'm gonna go through the Control Labs products first, and then we can move on to the others. Orange Beet from Control Labs. This is another one that I was um, was part of formulating, and uh, it allowed me to to take a supplement that has quite a few things that I would really like to get, which is why I like making these supplements because then I don't have to buy you know hundreds of different bottles of different things. I can make a supplement that can cover at least two, three, four different things that I want to take and lower the amount of things that I have to think about. Um, and get it all in at, at, at the right rate. So you take this just as directed, um, and this comes with some Silijat uh, extract, um, garlic bulb, and bergamot, and a little bit of CoQ10. I mean, not really enough CoQ10 to really do anything, but the rest of the things are dosed extremely well. Um, and what I find this is great for is they call it orange beet because it's like the beat of your heart because it's cardiovascular support. And it does that really well. Bergamot has a lot of, of potential data for triglyceride support. Um, you know, garlic bulb is great for triglycerides and heart support as well. And Shilajat can be good for helping um, you know, men's virility and, and cardiovascular support as well. Um, so take that as directed. I like to do three tabs of that with dinner and then I'm good to go. All right, <clears throat> Orange Health IQ by Controlled Labs. Uh, this is another one that I had a hand in formulating and um, it comes with a bunch of good things in it. Uh, Boswellia, which is even better than glucosamine and chondroitin at joint support. Um, and strangely enough, it actually gives a little bit of a pump in the gym too. Um, but it comes with more garlic bulb, uh, milk thistle that I know a lot of people take, and ginger root for digestion support. So with the milk thistle, that's liver support, liver health, um, the garlic bulb, like we talked about, cardiovascular support, and the, the Boswellia, which it claims inflammation health on here. Now, the inflammation health that it really, really helps with is joint support. Um, and I know that there's going to be people that are like 22 years old watching this, and they're going to be like, I don't care. For all of you broken down 30-year-olds and older, you're going to care a little bit. And so take that as directed as well. Okay, I think that that gets through what I take from Controlled Labs. Um, and if anybody's interested, you can always go to controlledlabs.com and order anything from them with the code Maui Athletics um, for 50% off, and you end up getting the, the freshest version of whatever they have because it's not something that's been sitting in a, a third-party supplement retailer's warehouse in 90-degree heat. Okay, another big company that I like to support because I think that they do things right. Um, if people ask me, periodically who I would support for bulk supplements. And I usually like Jaros or Swanson. Um, a lot of people recommend now. I don't recommend now. And that's only because I've been gun shy about them since um, Consumer Lab did a bunch of reports of, on them um, maybe 10 years ago. And there were a lot of supplements that they were putting out that were off quite a bit in label claims. And I remember one, there, there might've been a, a tribulus product that had only 20% of the claim tribulus and there, there were a bunch of issues. Um, so because of quality control, I like to stick with Swanson or Jaros. Um, Swanson, CoQ10, another cardiovascular support supplement. Um, this one is their 400 milligrams of CoQ10. Now CoQ10 data is a, a bit hazy as well, um, but CoQ10 is dirt cheap. And so when I saw that there was like 400 milligrams of of, uh, of CoQ10 for a few dollars. It's, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. I'll just pick that up and if it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything and I didn't lose a whole lot. Um, next one I have is I like to add in uh, where is that? 
some theracurmin. It's another anti-inflammatory. Um, it is a curcumin extract, and I know a lot of people like to talk about curcumin and the fact that it is not bioavailable at all orally, and it isn't. It is a piece of crap as far as absorption goes, taking it orally. And so what a lot of people say on their, um, on their products is, well, take it with, with bioprene or take it with black pepper. That still doesn't do a whole lot. Um, what you really want to look for is one of the patented forms of curcumin. The one that I use is Swanson's Theracurmin. Um, you can also get Long Vita, um, I think it's Win95, Curcuin. There's a bunch of different kinds that work really well, um, but you got to go with one of the more bioavailable kinds, the kinds of black pepper or piperin or, you know, it just doesn't really do anything. Um, so theracurmin or curcumin in general um, for anti-inflammation, I mean, there's there's so many potential benefits to curcumin, including anti-cancer anti properties over time. The dosage for that is kind of a mystery for people as far as, well, what's the optimal dose for a person for curcumin? Um, so the optimal dose seems to be as much as you can afford. Um, and so what I do is I take that theracurmin and it's 100 milligrams uh, from Swanson and I just take one pill a day because there's a little bit of curcumin in some of the orange or some of the um, controlled labs products that I had mentioned earlier. So this gives me a little bit of a bump into the, the proper range with the highly bioavailable form. Okay. I've got quercetin. And quercetin is, um, they mentioned that it's for immune health. Um, I'm not entirely convinced about a lot of the benefits of quercetin. There's a lot of claimed benefits. There's performance benefits. There's body composition benefits. Um, claimed for quercetin, they're all a little bit, a little bit hazy. Um, this is an 800 milligram per, per pill dosing. I take this one a day because I find it helps with um, with allergies, and I'm allergic to my dog, believe it or not. So I take that daily, and it helps me deal with her while she's bounding all over the place. Um, so whether or not you feel like that is something that's beneficial for you. I, I could understand you saying, no, that's not for me. And that's okay. And then we move on to um, my nighttime stack. And I don't know about you, but you know, at any time that you're past high school, I, I find it's kind of difficult to sleep because you got so many responsibilities, so much stuff's going on, things are running through your head all the time. And so I like to recommend a nighttime stack that I take about 30 minutes before I go to bed that seems to work extremely well for knocking me out and keeping me asleep. And that's one milligram of melatonin. That's right, only one milligram. Don't take more. If you take significant amounts of melatonin over the long period, it kind of works against you and it makes it harder for you to sleep. Um, and I know that like people love to look at that and they'll say, well, I take 10 milligrams when I, when I do a flight change. Well, yeah, you know, if this is a, a very significant, um, you know, time change and you've got jet lag, yeah, that's, that's the type of thing that a lot of people do. Um, so you'll see a lot of guys in the military do that a lot. But for a normal person, it's supposedly about 0.3 micrograms to about one milligram is what you should be taking on a nightly dose. Um, and me being 235 pounds, one milligram works pretty well for me. Along with that, I take ZMA. It gets me a little bit more um, zinc and magnesium, which we are missing in our diets. And there is, there are, I can, you know, there's, there's no multivitamin that really covers this adequately because magnesium um, requires a lot of size. I mean, this is three pills alone for just this. So add more pills to the orange triad and, and you know, people wouldn't even buy it. So I add this, I use the uh, Optimum Nutrition brand and I put it in at night. And uh, the one thing that I didn't grab from my nighttime stack was um, Unisom. And there are two versions of Unisom out. The one that I recommend is the Doxyl Amine version. And I take one pill of those in combination with the ZMA and the melatonin every night, about 30 minutes before I go to bed. Um, none of them are habit forming. None of them leave you groggy. And I know that, um, that a larger dose of melatonin can do that, but the one milligram doesn't. And, uh, and it works extremely well, you know, and I have problems sleeping if I don't do it, but if I do take it, I'm completely fine. Um, you know, and this is one of those things where I've tested it back and forth and it wasn't like this stack was causing me to have problems sleeping. It was, I wasn't sleeping anyways. And so finally taking this was the thing that I needed to finally get some really good sleep. And now I average about eight and a half hours a night and I sleep mostly through the night and I'm, I'm pretty good. The only thing 
that uh, that I don't have in here is uh, is pycnogenol, and pycnogenol is a uh, is another anti-inflammatory for joints. Uh, it helps with um, with with the pump as well in the gym, so people tend to like it for that. Um, I take that in the morning with my Boswellia, with my other Control Labs products, and uh, and it works extremely well. So that's everything that I take in a day, along with a protein powder. And protein powders, I kind of vary them up, so I didn't want to bring one out. But you know, I use things like Synthesix, Optimum Nutrition, um, Trutine, Isoflex, anything that doesn't have beef protein isolate in it or collagen. Uh, because those are not full spectrum. They're not they're not well dosed amino acid wise and uh, And I avoid anything that has added amino acids Because of the way that um, that companies come up with the protein number on the label What you can do is something called protein spiking and that means that they will take something like glutamine or lysine or creatine and they'll throw a bunch of that into the tub and then per grams for those, lysine or glycines are, are the, the most popular ones. They count as protein when you do the protein test that is legal for labeling laws in the United States. Because what it does is it doesn't actually check for intact protein, it checks for nitrogenous species. And what that means is you can kind of deceive that number. And it's always funny to me when people are like, protein's protein, when protein is not protein. Most protein is protein, but not all protein is protein. And so it's, it's, a, it's kind of a hazy thing. And a lot of times when you see these smaller brands come out with these you know, enormous flavors, or especially when they start uh, marketing, it's great on your stomach. That usually tells me that it's probably not all quality protein because what they're usually doing is they're putting beef protein isolate in it. And beef protein isolate is not quality protein. It's not beef, it's not meat. What it is, is it's collagen and gelatin. It is the runoffs from meat production. It is the connective tissue. It is um, cartilage. It is not meat. If they were putting steak into a powdered protein powder bottle, you would be paying $200 a bottle. And so this confuses a lot of people. And so what they'll do is they'll take this and they'll say, man, this is really good on my stomach. Well, yeah, it's jello. It is gelatin. And there's a reason that we give people gelatin in hospitals because it's very easy on the stomach. It gets you some calories, it gets some food in you. And that's essentially what you're taking in when you're buying beef protein isolate. So go with something like a, a whey protein or if you are lactose intolerant, a whey protein isolate, or if you are averse to that for a moral reason, go with a soy protein isolate. Um, short of those, if you are looking for a, a more vegan option and you don't like soy, Go with a combination of brown rice and pea because brown rice and pea have a little bit of deficiencies in their amino acid profiles, but their deficiencies are counterbalanced by one another. So when you combine them, they make a great combination. All right, guys, that's everything that I take. Let me know any questions you have down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer.